On August 20th, 2022, First Amendment auditor Daniel Kakosa and another individual were approached by several officers with the new London Police Department, including Lieutenant Joshua Burgess. While Mr. Kakosa was filming for his YouTube channel, The Constitution State, in the police station parking lot in New London, Connecticut, the interaction that followed was captured on officer body cameras. Hey, can I help you? What are you guys doing? Filming. For what? Just like ten. That's it. Yeah, that's fine. Like it. Any reason you're filming? Don't want to answer any questions. What about you? You want to answer any questions? Or? They heard, they heard this. Uh, they stated that those two were over their department um, videotaping and refused to identify themselves. You can get off that car. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. After the auditors refuse to answer any questions, the officers follow them as they walk around the police department parking lot and film. As the Supreme Court explained in the 1983 case of Florida versus Royer, quote, law enforcement officers do not violate the Fourth Amendment by merely approaching an individual on the street or in another public place by asking him if he is willing to answer some questions by putting questions to high. If the person is willing to listen or by offering an evidence in a criminal prosecution, his voluntary answers to such questions. The officer must either apply at least minimal physical force or the citizen must submit to an officer's show of authority to restrain their liberty. At this point in the encounter, the new London officers had taken no steps to attempt to restrain the auditor's liberty in any way, and a court would almost certainly conclude that the Fourth Amendment was not implicated by them, asking the auditors questions and following them around the parking lot and observing their actions. No. No. Yeah. For what? You're, I'm asking you to leave the, 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 I'm asking you to leave private property now. Get out of the lobby. I'm not private property. You have to leave business here? Yeah. I'm asking you, okay, you can go to the lobby, but no. if you're not going to the lobby, you can leave. I'm not doing anything. I'm not asking. You're now in a private lot and you're being asked to leave the property. Where's the sign? I'm telling you now. It doesn't go. matter. Leave no, this. No, no, no. I'm not asking you. Okay. Get off the property. I'm not. Then you can end up downstairs in our lockup. Okay. You're not here for police business. I just told you I was going in the lobby. Okay. Next. Then you can go up in the lobby. I can go up in the lobby yep. when I'm ready. There's no, no time you, limit. Okay. okay. I'm telling Where you. Where are your signs? There are no signs, but exactly. you're being you're so giving I'm, you're being given a lawful to be, no, order to what disperse. Law? What law? Disorderly conduct. For, no, I'm being you're being given. Yes. Let's go. Hey, you want here? Let's Disorderly go. conduct. You want to call it? Let's do it. Because I'm doing go. nothing wrong. No, no, no. Why you got to come out here and bust? Bust? You came out here. I was doing nothing wrong. You're out here filming people's cars. I'm allowed to. Okay. Again. Again, what? Do you so, have anything so better I'm allowed to? Come then, thank you. I'm not going to answer right. any more questions. I'm going to continue doing what I was doing. Touching me? You're touching me? You're touching me? Off the property. Stop touching me, please. Off the Stop touching me, please. It doesn't. Go. I have been asked to leave. Listen, Listen no, no, no. It doesn't. I don't even need police business. Okay. Even if I wasn't here for police business, it doesn't matter. You're not going this to stand out. This is public out. property. I can stand out. No, no. You need to commit a crime or be suspected of a crime. Like, how are you this high and you don't you're even know that? Being asked and then you're putting leave, your sir. hands on me? What's you're wrong with you? Asked to leave. You can't trespass me for public property when I haven't broken a law. Okay. Come on. Are you here for police business? I just told you I was. Okay. Then what is the police business you're here for? I don't need for? to tell you. Yes, you do. No, you're I not don't. I'm here for police business. I, well, I don't need to tell you. All right, I'm not going to answer any more questions, okay. and I'm standing right here until I'm ready to go inside. Then we're going to stand right here with go you. Go ahead. Okay. I got all night, dude. I got till 7 o'clock in the morning. Can you start touching me? Can you? No. I'm allowed to move. Okay. So am I. Okay, just keep touching me. Let's go. Jay, take your camera out. Let's go. Excuse me, sir. Do you really want to do this? I don't care because I haven't done Let's anything go. wrong. You're the one making yourself look like a clown. the property. No. Too. When Mr. Kakosa refuses to leave the parking lot, Lieutenant Burgess runs into him several times with his body and physically pushes him. In fact, lawful accord would probably conclude that this use of force was not constitutionally excessive. In general, the Fourth Amendment authorizes officers to use force that is, quote, unquote, reasonable under the circumstances when conducting seizures.
seizures. And, as the Supreme Court explained in the 1989 case of Graham versus Connor, quote, Fourth Amendment jurisprudence has long recognized that the right to make an arrest or investigatory stop necessarily carries with it the right to use some degree of physical coercion or threat thereof to affect it. This interaction does not constitute the typical Fourth Amendment seizure of a person, where an officer is attempting to detain or arrest an individual, as Lieutenant Burgess. Lieutenant Burgess was using force in an apparent attempt to get Mr. Kakosa to leave. However, the Second Circuit Court of Appeals, which has jurisdiction over Connecticut, determined in the 2015 case of Salmon versus Blesser that although the Fourth Amendment is not implicated, when an officer orders an individual to leave a public area and uses, quote unquote, guiding force to direct them as needed an officer's intentional use of physical force to restrain an individual and control his movements constituted a Fourth Amendment seizure, even when the officer's ultimate purpose was to secure the individual's departure from a location rather than to prevent him from leaving. While there is certainly a strong argument under this precedent that Lieutenant Bergson's use of force amounted to a Fourth Amendment seizure, even if a court did conclude that the Fourth Amendment was implicated, it is likely that it would also determine that the seizure was reasonable if the order to leave the property was lawful. However, if the order was unlawful, it is more likely that the court would conclude that this use of force was excessive. So, if you go near a personal car, I'll go near whatever. Okay. I'm going to tell no, you, no. you're wrong. No, you're I can better, record I those cars. I can record any okay. car in this parking lot. If I, I want. catch you touching a vehicle or trying to open a door, I'm going to, I want to arrest you. Now it goes to that. Did you see me do that before okay. you touched no, me and did all I that? Catch you doing it. Did you? Did you see me? Dude, That's what you keep saying, but stuff. you're out here. Okay. You would never came out here if you had something better to do. If you need something, come up in the lobby and do it. I'll be up there when I'm ready. We're all set. Mr. Kaka's complaint: the New London Police Department conducted an internal investigation and found that Lieutenant Burgus was in violation of department policies regarding respect and courtesy conduct. You're a loser. You are a loser. Go find something better to do with your life. You're the one that came running outside like some tough guy, you clown. What a waste of time. Now leave him after you already touched me. Loser. That's all you do. You can't. You're on personal calls right now. What are you going to do? And I didn't even look at him before, now I will. Who's above you inside? I need to talk to a supervisor. Hey, baby, can I get you to Lewis 665. Sadowski 688. Oh, can I help you? Yeah, if you, uh, you're the supervisor. One of them, yeah. Um, so I was outside, walking through your parking lot, taping. Your officers, three of them came out. Supervisors started pushing me around, giving out lawful orders. Kept trying to tell me I'm trespassing and I'm disorderly when I wasn't doing anything. Well, it's a lawful order. Yeah, if you're doing it. Oh, if you read the statute for trespass first, after giving a lawful order, regardless, yeah, you have to be committing a crime. regardless of if it's supposed to or not. No, but you have to be committing a crime to be trespassed on public property. All right, well, I'm not going to argue with you on that. just like the rest of them. I need three complaint forms, and uh, how do I request that body cam footage? I have to go do an FOI. Do records? Hmm? Okay, so how do I get the complaints? You want a complaint form? How many do you No, three. three. Four. Three complaints. But there's two of you. Well, you, you can put more than one officer on a form, is that what you're no, asking? No, I want to put it. I do individual. So you want four? Yeah. Okay. Unbecoming of an officer and use of force reporting. And on March 6th, 2023, Lieutenant Bergenson was suspended without pay for eight days for two separate complaints. Overall, Lieutenant Burgess gets an F for maintaining a hostile and unprofessional demeanor throughout the encounter, interfering with Mr. Kaka's First Amendment right to film in public, and using unnecessary and potentially unlawful force against Mr. Kakosa. Even looking at this interaction from a common sense perspective rather than a legal one, it is challenging to understand why Lieutenant Burgus was so bothered by Mr. Kakosa filming in the parking lot and what harm he believed he was preventing by trying to force Mr. Kakosa to leave. Let us know if there is an interaction or legal topic that you would like us to discuss in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check subscribe to our channel for even more police interaction content.